Hello and welcome to Java Tea Point and today we'll discuss the fifth video on graph theory which is a uh, spanning tree so very 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 important topic is spanning tree and a very deep knowledge of it is required so let's have a very deep knowledge of spanning tree what is a spanning tree so spanning tree so uh, a spanning tree is a subset of graph definitely because if you say tree tree is a tree which do not have a close path but in graph we have a close path so obviously Spanning tree is a subset of graph which has all the vertices covered within the minimum possible number of edges. That is a spanning tree of a graph is a, a tree which contains all the vertex, all the vertex of graph but, but minimum possible number of edges because we know that tree has always limited edges. If I make a tree, suppose I am making a binary tree, how many vertex are there, how many nodes are there, 5 and how many edges are there, 1 less. Four. So always remember if a tree is there, it will always have one less edges than number of nodes. Fine. Okay. But in graph, is it something like that? No. A graph always have either equal or large. It can have any number of edges then uh, compared to its vertex. Hence a spanning tree does not have a cycle. Definitely. If it is a tree, it cannot have a cycle and it cannot be disconnected. Have you seen any tree something like that? Have you tree seen any tree like that? No, it's not a tree. So any tree cannot be disconnected. By this definition, we can draw a conclusion that every connected undirected graph G that every connected every connected and undirected suppose this is connected and undirected graph g has at least one spanning tree so i can clearly say if a graph is connected and and undirected i can 100 percent say that it has at least one spanning tree a disconnected graph does not have any spanning tree suppose this is a disconnected graph can you make a spanning tree of this no i cannot make a spanning tree of this because this node is isolated since there is no path a tree cannot have a isolated node as i cannot span all the vertices i cannot use all the vertices because a spanning tree contain all the vertex of a graph all the vertex of a graph and that vertex need to be connected with some edge fine okay so this is the example uh, of a spanning tree here you have a graph and we have made the three spanning tree fine from this graph that is one with this one with this and one with this and you can clearly see it no uh, because uh, it cannot have this edge fine so there are three spanning tree so because of this i can say a graph create forest a graph create forest because there are more than one tree and more than one tree if there are more trees then what do you call that you call that forest fine okay now see very important thing very very important formula we found three spanning tree of complete graph since you have a complete graph and how many tree you have found three spanning tree so what is the formula of that formula is n to the power n minus 2 so how what is n number of nodes so num how many nodes you have three then 3 to the power 3 minus 2 is what 3 to the power 1 is equal to 3. So if a graph has 3 vertex, 3 nodes, then how many tree you can form? You can form 3 spanning tree. Fine. You can form 3 spanning tree. The number of a spanning tree uh, where n is number of nodes. Fine. Suppose if a graph has 4 vertex, then 4 to the power 4 minus 2, that is 4 minus 2 will give you 2, that is 16. If a graph has 4 vertex, you can make 16 spanning tree. This is why I am using word forest. This is why I am using word forest. A, a graph can create a forest of spanning tree. Fine. Okay. Now let's go further and see the general properties of spanning tree. We now understand one of the uh, that one graph can have more than one spanning tree. We have just seen that our graph can have more than one spanning tree. This is the figure. Following are the few properties. First, a connected graph G can have more than one spanning tree. We know already a graph if it is a con connected, it can have more than one spanning tree. Fine. All possible spanning tree of a graph have same number of edges and vertex. If you see any number of spanning tree, all have same number of vertex and edges. No, it can not be uh, something like that uh, some spanning tree is having uh, some other edge and some are having some other edge. it is not possible the spanning tree does not have a cycle this we know very well fine even a tree cannot have a cycle removing one edge very important removing one edge from a spanning tree will make the graph disconnected so these are three spanning tree remove any edge from any spanning suppose i am removing this so this b will become disconnected so removing 
one edge only one edge from spanning tree will make it make a graph disconnected that is spanning tree is minimally connected so spanning tree is minimally connected that is further that for after that you cannot remove any edge the moment you review move even one edge it will make disconnected graph fine okay adding one edge to spanning tree if you add any edge to spanning tree any edge to spanning tree tree will create a circuit and this is what you are watching it will create a circuit so that is that is spanning tree is maximally acyclic spanning tree is acyclic that is it is acyclic that is, it does not have a cycle but if you add even a single edge it will make it cyclic that is the maximum limit is a uh, uh, spanning tree has achieved so it is maximally acyclic fine okay now see mathematical properties spanning tree has n minus 1 edges this is what i have already told you that if it is a spanning tree and there are three vertex then there will be always n minus 1 edges fine okay where n is number of nodes fine okay then a complete graph a complete graph what is complete graph this is a complete graph this is a complete graph where every vertex is connected to every vertex so this is a complete graph fine what is complete graph which have n into n minus 1 by 2 edges where n is number of nodes where what are number of nodes 4 4 into 3 by 2 uh, sorry uh, 2 2 3 6 that is has 6 edges. so you have a complete graph by removing maximum e minus n plus 1 for a complete graph by removing e what is e number of edges 6 what is n number of vertex what is number of vertex 4 plus 1 that is 6 minus 4 is 2 6 minus 4 is 2 plus 1 that is 3 by removing 6 minus 4 plus 1 that is if i am taking a case of four nodes that is by removing three edges edges we can construct a spanning tree let's remove three edges uh this this and this yes this is a spanning tree fine okay so uh, this is very important uh, you have to remember this a complete graph we have already discussed how many tree a complete graph can have a complete graph can have maximum of n into n minus 2 number of a spanning tree this we have already discussed thus we can conclude that a spanning tree are subset of connected graph fine this is what we know that this spanning tree is a subset of connected graph so you have a spanning tree figure here uh, i use this place for you know explaining the things okay and now let's have application of spanning tree where spanning trees are, are used in a civil network planning you suppose you have to plan a civil network computer network routing protocol it is also acting as a proud protocol and clustered analysis no suppose you are no uh, planning for a uh, uh, telephone line internet lines so use you use spanning tree because spanning tree takes the minimum path and you always look you always look for what you always look for minimum cost so minimum path will always generate a minimum cost fine uh, so this uh, I hope you you can read all those uh, stuff written over here. So at last uh, we'll discuss minimum spanning tree. So till now we have understood spanning tree. Till now we have understood spanning tree. Now we'll discuss another important topic is minimum spanning tree, which is very very important, very very important. Minimum spanning tree. So what is in minimum spanning tree? In case of minimum spanning tree, we consider a weighted graph. In case of minimum spanning tree, we consider a weighted graph. Fine, we consider a weighted graph. So suppose I have assigned a weight to this graph. This is five. This is seven. And suppose this is nine. Fine. So prior to this. Prior to this, when there were no weight, I have created three spanning tree. So these are spanning tree. But my job is not to create a spanning tree. My job is to also create minimum spanning tree. So which is the minimum spanning tree? So if I'm using this tree, so this tree has five and nine weight. If I'm using this tree, this has seven and five weight. If I'm using this tree, this tree has nine and seven weight. So the total weight of this is 14 and this is 12 and this is 16 so which is the minimum spanning tree this is the minimum spanning tree fine so either you can create more than one spanning tree but your job is to find the minimum spanning tree and how you can find the minimum spanning tree from the weighted graph a minimum spanning tree is the spanning tree that has a minimum weight than all other spanning tree so you have seen there were three spanning tree but the minimum weight of the spanning tree was a spanning tree b or suppose this is a spanning tree this is b spanning tree and this is c spanning tree fine in the real world situation that is weight can be measured as a distance so if you are thinking what is weight weight can be a distance suppose distance between uh delhi to noida delhi to uh, noida if i say 
uh, from any city of America, you can say, I'm taking an uh, example of uh, India, you can take any city of America from uh, Brit uh, Britain, any, any city. So this is called be distance, congestion, traffic load or anything, any value. This weight can be anything, fine. Minimum spanning tree. Now your job is how to find minimum spanning tree. You, it will be very tough if you have to create all, suppose, as I've already told you, if a node has four, if a node has four vertex, then there could be 16 spanning tree. So what you will do, you will create 16 spanning tree and then you will find out minimum. No, that is practically not possible. So what you do, you we have a two algorithm, which is made for finding minimum spanning tree. One is Kruskal and one is Prince. So minimum spanning tree, we shall learn two most important spanning tree algorithm. One is Kruskal's and one is Prince. Prince, both are greedy. Why greedy? Because they have greed to find minimum. No, greedy. They are greedy to, to have minimum. They are greedy to make maximum profit by selecting the minimum length fine so because of this there's a there both algorithm are greedy algorithm so kruskal and prims so in next video we'll study kruskals and we'll solve question on kruskals in and further in videos we'll study prims and we'll solve question on prims so at last i'll say thank you so much for watching java t point please like subscribe and share the channel thank you thank you so much thank you very much